ventilation coming through the eaves and make sure that it isn't blocked. It's important that air can circulate. When you finish insulating the loft, you'll be able to feel the difference in the house. You should also think about insulating the water tank and the pipes. You'll be able to do this using lagging on the water tank and pipes. This will stop the water inside the pipes from freezing. Loft insulation reduces heat loss. Double glazing really keeps the heat in by preventing it from escaping through the glass, but it can be quite expensive. If your windows do need replacing, then it's worth considering double glazing. But there are cheaper alternatives, such as secondary double glazing, which you can easily fit yourself. When you're installing secondary double glazing, it's important that you leave a gap of between 16 and 20 millimetres to gain the maximum benefit. If double glazing is too expensive, you can buy and fit 